What do we got today? We got ourselves Team Cat. What you guys already seen the most of them? We see uh, Silent Storms in the back. How's he going to play? Nice he's got to play. Lucifer has he got to play. AJ has got to play like once. That's going to be Team Catrica versus Team Blue. Chaining up a few people. We got Kazak in here. Live Live. We got Shantis being out as a Fury Warrior. Amy is another Fury Warrior. And Limp and Liam. Good luck and have fun, boys. Good luck and have fun. <laughs> Let Cat play. Oh my god. Yeah. Cat, if y'all want Team 1 to get rolls going. You're more than welcome to. If y'all want to do f clean rolls, whoever gets first, whoever gets last, and whatnot, you guys are more than welcome to. I guess. If people in chat are, if people in chat are expecting this, <laughs> popping back in. I think they're still trying to figure out who's going first, who's going last. It looks like it's going to be ATS versus Kazak. Trying to see if we can lure him out. Going to be. Oh no. Almost got a free poly. Almost got a free poly. He could have gotten the free poly, but you know what? He decided to be a super nice guy. He wants to go for the honor duel, man. He did a slash wave with the guy. <laughs> Gonna be a nice little bow by Kazak. Gonna be a bow by ATS. He's like, you know what? I respect my opponent, man. I don't gotta BM him. I know we, this is gonna be a good fucking duel. Gonna be poured out of Kazak a little bit early. Hey, what's going up ahead of time with ATS? Gotta lure him in close. Gonna be a breath on the Kazak and ATS. I think he's gonna double poly. In case Kazak was gonna trinket it. I feel like I would have went for a greater party either way. Gonna be Ring of Frost out of that greater party. Oh, check it out, Kazak a little bit early with a disarm. Disarm the mage! He disarmed the mage! This man watches pillow of 100%. It is popping out that combustion right now. Try to see if he can get away from Kazak before that karma goes off. Kazak is just gonna line inside this as best as possible. Vu fights are coming out though. Body of the burn that karma a little bit early. But he still has the mobility compared to ATS. Compared to him, he's gonna go for a bit of a blink. Nope, couldn't get that breath quite yet. Didn't quite get that dragon's breath, but close though. Still got that, uh. Still got that, uh. Living bomb. I guess that's nice. AJ is gonna have. Oh, root onto Kazak. It's actually still gonna play super defensive still. <laughs> Spamming those move fights. Come on, Kazak. <laughs> As Kazak is trying to get some damage going, AJ is popping out of Temporal and is trying to go for some damage himself. Fireball, Scorch coming out. Does he have any way to finish it? Actually, Kazak was able to line him. No power blast coming out. Kazak barely has any health. Hovering and Tiener on super low hold. Breath coming out for AJ. Doesn't quite get it. Misses him barely. It looks like Kazak is gonna go for a bit of recovery. Interrupt comes in. Does ATS have enough damage? It's gonna be a trinket for that for that incap. Kazak still landing those heals back to back. Move fight is still happening. And he doesn't really give him a lot of place to go. Root coming out on Kazak. He does have himself a tiger's loss. This man is just running. He's out running all of his problems. So so sad. ATS dude, he's been trying, man. ATS is just so excited to get the kills. He's missing these Dragon's Breath, though. That is the biggest thing. Every time he misses Dragon's Breath, he's missing like, a setup. He's missing a setup to at least stop Kazak in place and try to do damage. But might be actually out of line of sight. Maybe the Scorches will be enough. Does he have the mobility to catch up to line of sight every single time? Interrupt comes in. Double blink for ATS. Blink a little bit too fast around. Actually threw himself off the platform here. Lose himself like, completely out of mobility. He just gotta wait, man. He just gotta wait until a full breath. Does get a run into Kazak, into an in cap. He's just like, oh my god. Just land a dragon's breath, he'll be fine. Nope, the side is gonna go for some damage himself. Actually, scorches. Just try to scorch through him. Kazak does pop a wall here. Breath comes in. Kazak, uh, that's still cooldowns rolling. There's still gonna be scorches available for ATS. Karma coming out. He does ice block and immediately breaks out of it. Legs are coming in. And Kazak tried to go for some more damage onto ATS. Big Fist of Fury is actually dropping down closer to half his health. ATS getting rooted. That's gonna be more real fights. Cause like all of us will find right in front of his face. Does land that interrupt with a living bomb at the end there. And that's gonna be Limp and Liam already set it up a chaos bolt. Doesn't waste any time. Try to get a big old chaos bolt up and running. Cataclysm around the corner. For ATS, it's gonna be a little bit. No, actually, not gonna be that tough. He actually got himself full of vis. Unless Ring of Fire. Unless Rain of Fire. He could put up a Rain of Fire. Doesn't have the doesn't have the soul shards for it. Doesn't have the soul shards. The HH made it out of there pretty easily. Uh, that's why you have Scorch. Yeah. It's going to be Polymorph onto Limp and Liam. Trying to see if it can land a greater Pyroblast. That pet is over there. Is going to land that interrupt. I think ATH should have probably been expecting it. Maybe try to juke him out. I don't know. What... Greater Pyroblast is just a hard spell to get a juke from. I feel like it's so much easier with a fast casting spell. Like a heal or something. But a greater Pyro, you see it from a mile away. 
There's gonna be an infernal coming down as Liam is gonna go for the crucible. It's popping cooldowns here. It's gonna get a horror effect into a fear onto ATH. Getting a lot of cancel. Doesn't have the line of sight, however. That angle is just the worst for him. Might be able to maybe get a couple flag on the ATH, but he's just gonna run. He's just gonna outrun. This is the monk shot. Gonna be a poor for Limp and Liam. As he's trying to get a cancel. Doesn't get one as he gets interrupted. And the is gonna get himself a couple of those pyro blasts and fire blasts in there. And it's gonna get a root onto that infernal breath as Liam was coming around the corner. Didn't quite land it. Cancel trying to come out, blinks around it, and where's Liam's pet? Uh, yeah, this is bad. So he might be able to get a couple of interrupts onto ATH. Might be able to eat that temporal buff. Try not to do damage into the temporal. Gonna be some scorches back to back for ATH. He's just trying to get whatever damage he can into Limp and Liam and steal every one of his buffs. That was just such an unfortunate setup for Lim. Very, very unfortunate. That's gonna be Cataclysm around the corner. Does he land it? I think he did. No, maybe he just keeps canceling it, it looks like. But Limp and Liam himself is not looking that good, man. He needs to get those horror effects onto ATH. And start using that Warlock House on ASAP. Just trying to see if he can light inside him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why does it look so funny when two on desert are chasing after each other? There's like bony boys shambling around. Gonna be. Oh, interrupt. Maybe not. Not interrupt. Gonna be tricking out of Limp Liam with a horror into a fear into ATS. And a Chaos Bolt. Almost got that Chaos Bolt out. But that's gonna be ATS busting out of that with a Wolf of Forsaken. Has combustion ready. Trying to get the Scorches. Does light a Scorch on Limp Liam. Is gonna go for a self heal with a Crucible. But not enough there, man. Not enough output. Almost though. Live life is up next with a polymer to follow. Trying to go for a double poly in case the trick is does trick it. So ATS does expect for people to trink it next time he's trying to go for any kind of damage. He is expecting it, but that's going to be a trinket out of Live Life. That's huge. Ring Hand of Freedom coming out, but he's going to be able to steal it. Oh, I need to be running the Hand of Freedom that you can't steal, especially against the mage. He's just going to purge that thing. That's probably the best honor talent they could have added for a paladin. You know what I mean? Like, it's actually a really, really useful one. And it's, like, so good. It actually is kind of competitive. Or maybe it might, might be the only decent one in that row. Out of, like, two maybe that are good. That's going to be Live Life. Try to go for some damage himself. Wings. Full wings are up and running. With a Shield of Vengeance. It's just, just looking to maybe get some line of sight. Maybe just kite. Temporal coming out. It's huge damage. Loading up on him from Live Life. Does get rooted for a second. No Polymorph, however. Is going to trigger Polymorph. Could maybe be a bubble out of Live Life. He's going to go for Greater Pyro. Greater Pyro. ATH though is out of defense. No, missing that ring of frost. And Live Life does have to go all the way around that thing. He's gonna get middle long wings. ATH with a breath at the end. Doesn't have anything left. Does he get a shield? That's gonna be cauterized rocket for him. Trying to go for instant cast as much as he can. Cannibalize it off of Lamp Liam as soon as he can. But that dot take from cauterized is just not gonna help him at all. Trying to get some food. Not gonna be able to do anything. Couldn't even mount up or blink away or anything properly. I think he blinked up to the wall at one point there too. ATH is going to have the hardest time getting out of this, dude. You're not going to get any food. Not even a tick. Yep, mounting up. Has to. That's going to be a slow breath until to live life. Has to kite him around for a bit longer. He could bubble it. Wait, is ATH going to go for damage right now? He has ice block. He does have ice block. Is going to go for some damage here. Is going to try to see if he can kite live life a little bit. Scorches are coming out. Has him close to the execute range. That's going to be a bubble. Live life is going to get a hard jump to ATH. Is going to go for a little bit of an ice block himself. Could go for a temporal. Not going to have a lot of health to really work with here. Breath onto live life with a ring of frost. He actually has nothing if he gets frozen. Oh my god. I think he actually got himself screwed there. Fireball for ATH with combustion. Trying to get the big damage in. Get himself a shield. Live life dropping out wings. ATH shaking out a pallet in there, man. Lived him long enough. Live life should have never triggered at anything. The next step is gonna be Shantus. That cannibalized the dude. He went for as much. He got. He went for as much health as he could. <laughs> too bad the um. Too bad the uh, cauterize is actually damage over time. Like if it was maybe like it reduces your health without like being a dot tick, then you could have maybe gotten a little bit of that healing. But he went for it, dude. He had to. I think he got maybe like one tick of it or two. Because his health was way too low. I'm pretty sure he was still surviving like 10%, so maybe I'm wrong here. Chantus, however, just cannot catch up to the guy. What kind of ability are on Chantus? Hey, double charge. Ah, That. You gotta, you can't, okay, you gotta get a different mount where you can mount up next to a wall. For some reason, that mount is too big and it um, dismounts you immediately. ATS, though. I feel like the only way Chantus will be able to beat ATS, I don't even know if a Stormbolt build is better here. He doesn't have normal blink, he has a shimmer blink, so Stormbolt will lock him down. And you would be able to stop Greater Pirates from afar, but ATS would just blink further out. He might have a chance here, we just don't know what build he's running. 
Breath coming out onto HS as he's recovering on health little by little. He's been trying to make this game last as long as possible. And Chartis is going to eat one of the greater pyros. Probably going to be a Ring of Frost. No, getting a charge instantly as it was a meteor for ATS. As he's going to swap double charges available. Try to get a heal. Cannot cast in a heal with a charge. As so far, ATS has been able to blink out before a heal was able to be established. Chartis trying to go for some damage. Enrage Regen coming out. Going to get frozen. Enrage Regen with a greater pyro. He trick is that route. And it's going to get a charge, heal, and an interrupt off of ATS. Ring of Frost. Frost coming down, doesn't have a way to stop it. Uh, it's gonna be a freebie greater pyro. Doesn't even have commanding shot anymore. Fireball combustion. Didn't even stand a chance. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance, man. And aim is gonna be the last one left. Maybe the storm bolt is gonna be a better play style. Gonna be instant tricking out of ATH though. Instant tricking out of Amy is just blaze storming through the enemy team. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna get some sort of damage out of this, don't worry. <laughs> Woo, god damn. I don't know if... Amy, I believe in you. Amy from Zulu Head. <laughs> I always thought Zulu Head was like Zulu space H-E-A-D, like head. Like what's on my shoulders. You know. It doesn't... Mine doesn't work that well. Some people's heads work well. Mine doesn't. I can barely speak English. Zulu Head. Alright, Amy, I believe in you. I believe in the cleave, Amy. I've, I feel like Amy is, should be down a trinket. It looks like something about UI just doesn't show the trinket properly. But they should, shouldn't should have a trinket for a bit. Storm Bolt onto ATH. Are they going to go for big damage right now? Looks like they are going to be popping off that uh, Rampage. But that's going to be a Polymer from afar. Double Poly in case they trinket but they shouldn't have a trinket to begin with gonna be a great apparel for ATS with a fireball meteor to follow huge combo to Amy does burn a in rage reach out but a little too early maybe doesn't get a charge he'll no doesn't even get a blood thirst off of ATS you're not in rage reach yet. poor Amy temporal before ATS that dragon's breath probably is gonna give him enough this is just a good deal with Amy even that commanding shout is gone everything is gone all they have is an interrupt and the <laughs> I don't know how else he's gonna do it. Strong Bolt and he's gonna be able to get a charge short heal onto ATS, but he's just gonna ice block him. Doesn't even give Amy an opportunity to grab a heal. <laughs> he's just BMing him a little bit at this point. ATS, let him win. Let him win. He's struggling so much. Amy's struggling so much. Ring of Frost to follow. Is he gonna get frozen? Did he get that intro, but it still got frozen through it. That's such a cool model. That's such a cool animation. Meteor on top of him, and I think it even has to do- Oh, <laughs> Combustion right before that Meteor landed. HS with a big old 1v5. Barely surviving, but really good wins there. Really good kills in the end. Very well played. Very, very well played. <laughs> I got a horror group, man, Patoro. I don't know. I, uh, don't need to add you on Realty, man. Let me know.